That's you in the mirror, girl. Yeah, you're sexy. What's up, y'all? Boys back. Another vlog. Yesterday was Mental Health Awareness Day. Always transparent with you guys on what's going on in my life. Keep you guys updated, motivated, inspired. Some of us never met each other. Some of us are from other parts of the world. No, I care about you. Start this episode off. You guys are in my room. Crazy fire about six months ago. This is where I've been living. This is what I've been doing. I'll bring you guys around the rest of the house. Like literally where I live, where I'm at. I got my little area over here. I got, I got inventory over here. Oh, that's tor turtle and tortoise diet and crocodilian diet. I got livestock feed. I got dog food. Let's check on Betty. What's up, Betty? Yeah. I love you. The whole YouTubers are asking about you, so they want to see what you've been up to, Come sweetheart. On, Come on. Come on, stinkers. This is my girl, Betty Boot. Come on. Mm -hmm. Ladies first. Look at this. That's for you. Those are little hibiscus. Back to the episode. Over here in my little corner. I don't know where he's at. You can see him. Oh, here we go. If you look down there, you guys see that? That is a poison dart frog. I have him from Central America down to about Colombia. A wide variety. <laughs> That's you in the mirror, girl. Yeah, you're sexy. Betty, I'm, I'm starting to think it's a bad idea to bring you in a house while we're filming because we can't hear you. Everybody can't hear me. I'm going to bring Betty back out because she's going to <laughs> us to death. Betty, come on, sister. <laughs> yeah, you're too loud. And you can't, everybody can hear us. Crazy girl. Yeah, stay over there. <laughs> Don't you sass me. Now, back to what I was saying. I got interrupted by the goats. Man, these are your green and black Costa Rican arrow frogs. I'm gonna explain my little small setup that I have. Small little water dish. Um, it's not too deep. You don't wanna have it too deep because uh, sometimes when the frogs, they, they'll fight each other. Um, and if they end up fighting each other in their water bowl, one frog will drown the other one. I'm gonna try to grab them over here so you guys can see them up close. Now, even still to today, there are some Amazonian tribes um, out in the rainforest that uh, they, they used to grab these frogs, grab some big old leaves, and they would catch, capture these frogs. They would kind of piss them off a little bit um, and they would rub the poison that secretes out of the frog on their arrow, these poison arrows to hunt these animals and eat and bring it back to their tribe to eat. It's a real cool thing to see how the ecosystem plays a part with each other. So inside here, I have a bunch of sphagnum moss, which is kind of damp. So you see, I grabbed that little piece already and I got that much water out of it. These guys coming from a rainforest environment, I try my best to duplicate the habitat in captivity. But the cool thing about dart frogs is they don't have any claws or teeth. So it's like two gummy bears fighting. <laughs> guys do chirp around nighttime. I have a PVC pipe that's running underneath into this little sphagnum moss ball where you see all these little cute, colorful, you know, fake plants. Um, the PVC goes inside there and I got a little bit of dirt like some soil and some more sphagnum moss for them to feel, you know, comfortable and safe. These guys are going to be eating pinhead crickets. I've spent some time in Central and South America and I've actually caught a bunch of dart frogs in the wild. A funny thing that we're on the subject of catching frogs, I actually caught my first dart frog in Hawaii. Hiking up this waterfall and I look to my left and of course I'm always Googling and looking up books and reading stuff of what frogs and what you know animals just jackson chameleons there's uh day geckos and there's dart frogs now this guy is a costa rican uh black and green uh Aratus dart frog um pretty freaking neat man i mean look at that animal the the color on that is just absolutely just booming now you know th these guys can jump you know pretty long distance he went back in his little hole back there um there's another one inside of here but i think he's all the way back there let me grab my little light Look at them go, woo! Little dart frogs, man. They are freaking neat, man, I tell you. As a kid, I used to look at these things on, uh, on in the books. Um, they used to have like these these uh, small books they had uh, in, the, in the school book fairs, um, and they would be filled up with colorful animals like your Amazon tree, I mean your emerald tree boas, your red-eyed tree frogs, and your dart frogs. 
Um, and I was always fascinated by the dart frogs, man. They were just, just blew my mind. Now, if you have a communal aspect where you have more than one, be careful because the females will lay eggs in their water bowls, you know, or in little small puddles if it's consistent, but the other female will eat it, eat the eggs to make sure she has, you know, more nutrients and she wants to battle to put her eggs over there and let her babies hatch. So I don't like to use the water hose because it's well water. I don't know if it has like iron and extra in the in the in the system in the water system. So I'm using a bunch of bottled water, fresh water, to make sure these guys have you know pure water. Enough about me geeking over dart frogs. Um, now we're gonna wash our goat. Betty has uh, been a little dirty girl. I haven't given her a bath in a while, and uh, I'm gonna gather her up so we can do so. We're gonna grab Betty and her supplies, and I'll see you guys outside. I got my special goat shampoo. Now, um, it says regular actual dog shampoo, but I put uh, CBD in it, ginger, nothing special. They also, they get her deworming. I mean, well, I'm up hitting her with some dewormer. Don't like it much, worms will kill them. One thing that will kill them is worms. Let me go get Betty. Betty! Ready? Yeah. I got your stuff ready yeah. for your bath, yeah. yeah. Are you excited? You can't eat that. That's off-white. It's not real fast. You have medicine. Daddy got medicine for you. Tell me here. Come on, open up. Yeah, that, don't you stop fussing with me. Yeah, uh, I got it. Are you done? I know. I know. <laughs> it's time for your baths. The water's warm. Come on, it's okay. I know you're a goat, baby. It's like, you guys don't speak goat, all right? You gotta be a goat to speak goat, you know what I'm saying? Pooping all over the place. Hey guys, a funny story. One of the goats a couple years back, Dodie, and I picked him up like I just did Betty. He bucked back and his horn hit me in my mouth and chipped my tooth. I know you guys are always asking about our merch. So right now, I'm drying Betty Boot off with one of our scarves. If you guys visit wildbreed.com, that's our uh, merch website for all our products. Do you guys some of that jungle drip, man? I'll sit here for about 10 minutes, dry her off, make sure she smells nice and fresh. I thank you guys for tuning in. That concludes today's episode. Tell Betty bye, tell her you love her. She'll see you guys later, okay? Peace.